I'm short today. I just came up with that rhyme by myself just now. Hey everyone, so summer is here and traveling is super near. So I wanted to let you guys know some tips and tricks that I use when I'm packing. Before I get started with this, when you guys are watching this, I will most likely be either in Sweden or in an airplane going to Sweden. Hey you guys, so the first tip and trick is to pack what you need and only what you need. So another tip for this kind of thing is when you're packing, remember that you need to pack your all your clothes and if you're bringing gifts for people or stuff like that. Like I know my family, we end up bringing like a whole order from my family. If you're going on vacation and you're going to be wanting to spend more money, you want to have room in your bag for everything else. So when you're bringing those necessities, remember that you are going to be spending a little bit more money. You're maybe going to pick up that dress over there or you're going to pick up that purse. Be able to put that in your car. I definitely recommend that you have a little bit room, a little bit of room, and then if you're traveling with someone else, kind of ask them to save a little room in theirs unless they're shopaholics like you are. Because like I usually, I have my little brother and sister me and my like my mom and so like we all like kind of we remember that I'm the shopaholic in the family and kind of need to save room for my crap that goes in everyone else's bags on the way home so that's like kind of you know my tip and trick on that and then another tip and trick that I have for this stuff is to weigh your bag before you get to the airport because there is a 50 pound limit. airlines they have like um you can take only a carry-on and then you have to pay for uh luggage but since we fly all the way to europe then um and it's like a really long flight and then there's like two other flights we usually have like a pass that lets us have um luggage like one luggage that'll go under the plane you know and then two carry-ons so what we usually do is i tend to weigh my Okay, so with a normal scale like that that I have over there, I stand on the scale, I weigh myself, and then like two seconds later, I stand on the scale again, I have to remember how much I have, and then I stand on the scale again, and I hold my luggage in my hand, and it'll weigh it, and my luggage right here is 40 pounds, it's actually 38 pounds, so it's 12 pounds under the 50 limit, so that's really good for me. And then another tip and trick is to get luggage that will withstand like the actual fact of the airport because the airlines do not treat your luggage well. Have you ever seen someone have a Louis Vuitton luggage that they that's like one of their prized possessions and they'll put it under the plane? Like I've never yeah. seen and I'd rather take care of myself so I just get like plain black. Another tip is to um, put a strip of duct tape on the app and the hardest part of your luggage because then you're going to be able to identify your luggage so no one else takes it and it's pretty bright and you'll be able to see it from like a mile away so another thing about that is i picked out a five piece luggage set which if i find it online i will link it down below so you guys can check it out because i found it and it's really durable and it's by american tourister which is a pretty good brand for luggage from walmart and I like it. It was $94. It was a five-piece set. I was planning on using three of the five pieces for this trip, but then I decided on only using two. Mostly because my tripod ended up fitting in the biggest luggage, which um, it fits in the like carry-on version too, but I don't want to take it on the carry-on because I'm not going to be filming in the airport, so it's really a waste to take it on my carry-on. So that's another thing. You might want to just plan on carrying your own luggage, which means that you're going to have to be able to you know so my one of my best tips that I can ever give you guys I go and I purchase makeup products I tend to actually go to makeup stores there and purchase makeup products there that I can bring back to the states and do reviews on and just hang out and like do that and obviously it's makeup is usually the same in all places but I try to buy the brands that aren't sold in the states so that then I can like actually play around with them and when, when you're going there kind of get a sense of what you're going to be buying because for me I always end up kind of like getting a sense of what I'm gonna buy like I'm like okay I'm gonna buy a purse I'm gonna buy some clothes I'm gonna buy um, makeup I'm gonna buy certain things you know like I'm going and then what am I gonna leave there so for me I'm not gonna be leaving anything there that's in this luggage but I have enough room to um, 
do that. So by the way, I am going to be in Europe for a whole month, which means that I am packing a little bit differently than some people because when you go there for like, when you go somewhere for a week, you don't really need that many outfits. Minimize it and find like your nearest laundromat that you can wash your clothes in because I know that my family, like I stay with family when I'm in Sweden usually or we go to a beach house usually people will let you like do laundry there you know if you're staying with family and friends so another tip and trick is for carry-ons when you're doing carry-on you need to remember that you cannot take these types of bottles in your carry-on you cannot do that this is way too much this is eight fluid ounce carry-on I recommend taking just a small little bag like this because when you're gonna be traveling you don't need that much makeup I even I know that all I need is a little bit of certain things because I'm gonna be there I'm gonna be on the airplane for a long time. So when I do when I am on the airplane and I'm really bored, I'll do like my makeup just for fun. I recommend bringing a mattifying like powder that you can mattify your face because your face is gonna get pretty oily when you are there. So I just I have the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder and this is in warm and this is my skin tone if you're but um. Yeah, so this definitely mattifies my face. And then, I don't have a travel brush set, but I do have a couple smaller brushes that I have that can that I can use as my types of stuff. So I just recommend bringing a couple brushes because in case you get like laid over or anything, you want to have something that you can easily do your makeup so you don't Confident. feel it. The next thing is from Ulta and this is called Flow and this is actually a fragrance holder and I love this baby because this is um, FDA approved and TSA approved so stop and check to make sure it's not like blowing up stuff but other than that this stuff is good to go and the one I have in it right now is actually Secret Wonderland and it's actually the this one but I actually have this and you, when you're there you can always fill it up with different fragrances and everything and if you guys want a review on this I will definitely do a review I love this so 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 much it's like a knockoff version of the Travelo XL and the Travelo and this one's pretty decent sized it you know it's decent and I this is just a lip gloss because if you're not feeling like you want to have a chapstick on and you want to have a little bit more gloss and shine to your lips then this is the one to go for and this is in pink ice and then also if you guys want just like a natural lip color that's like tinted but yet not too bad this is the naked bee and this is in heather rose and I love this baby so so much so it is just super tinted but yet it's not tinted crazy so I really love that about this one is when Ulta has their like little miniature stuff you always want to make sure you go and pick up a small little travel size size stuff like that because when you see that stuff it's really good pigmentation I love Ulta brand products because they're really actually great quality just like Sephora brand products they're all really awesome and then I picked up this travel mirror for Black Friday if you guys saw that haul a while ago I know some of you guys did watch all of my videos because I like sometimes show you guys makeup products and then you're like oh, you bought that on Black Friday I'm like oh my gosh you guys remembered so you know I have this baby and then this thing which Jenna actually recognized when I showed her what I was keeping in mind because we were FaceTiming this is just such a small amazing like little cube and it's not too thick and it's not too thin and it's just perfect and I don't know I'm really in love with this because it has a mirror and it has these four neutral colors a highlight a um this is for your crease your lid and then like your outer V and then your lid right here so it's pretty nice I love this because I can do so many different types of looks just with four different colors I can do like a little darker look, I can do a brighter look, I can do whatever I really want because these are so like similar but yet different. So the next two things are something because when you're taking and you're taking a trip and you're going to be in the airplane for a long time and you don't want to look like washed out and you're maybe like you want eye makeup on, I definitely recommend the e.l.f. eyelid primer and I love this stuff because this has saved me on so many different occasions. It has been my baby. And then the other thing that I swear by is my favorite mascara and it's the Volume Flash Scandalize and this stuff is the stuff I swear by. So if you guys want to go and pick up one of these 
I would definitely love to hear your guys' thoughts on it because I love it. Like, it is my official baby. Like, what is wrong with me? I love it. But it actually is so cute and it actually matches my nails right now. Covers the lashes so much more than regular ones do. And I don't know, I'm like in love with this one. So that was all. And by the way, I got this from Claire. Definitely make sure to check my other travel type videos because I will be having lots more, probably like a few more. And then throughout the summer, I might have like a, a few more. So I hope that you guys enjoy. And if you guys miss me, then you guys can always tweet me, inbox me, or you know, talk to me. Because I still will be uploading. It's just my uploads won't be as regular um, like every other day. They're probably going to be a little less regular than normal. But you know, you guys still love me hopefully. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want some more types of tips, I'll do a part two. So I love you guys. Bye.